Good evening folks, welcome to the Skiltronics workshop. I'm just going to do this video quite quickly. This is to show you why a multimeter can't test a stator to find a fault on it. Um, basically this stator came in the other day from um, a customer of mine, um, Kevin Mackey from Up Blackpool. And the problem was, he said the stator went for a bit when it got warm, they couldn't get a spark, so they put another stator on and everything was okay. So, anyway, I'm going to show you the test which I would do um, to test it and find the fault on it, and just to prove why a meter can't find the fault that it's got. Anyway, the first thing we'll do. I shall do what's called a static test and I'm doing this obviously for the YouTube video and then you've got a, a full reference then of how to test the stator but you'll need an oscilloscope to find the fault but anyway I'm going to go through the procedure I've used and show you where the fault is so the first thing I'll do is a continuity test from the body of the stator to the air foyer which is black because th this is a BGM um, DC stator two yellow wires and what I've done before I've basically uh, started I put all new connectors on because the old connectors was a right mess so anyway I put new connectors on and I'm going to set this um, you know the, the famous tester up and the first thing I'm going to test is continuity from the air wire to the body of the stator so I'm going to press that, I'll get this in a bit closer for you. So that, that's a good um, resistance test, 0 0.01 ohms, you know, basically a short circuit, you know, which you'd want. So that's, that's the continuity test from the black wire to the body of the stator. Well, I'm just, I'm just going sw to swap the wire over now. Um, and what we'll test now, we'll test the pickup coil. So I've gone on to the red, and we're still on, on the body of the stage, uh, which is the F. So I'll now press the button to test it. And I'll just show you the, um, the reading we get. 110 ohm, 110.5. Normally the BGM uses 112 ohm low resistor in their pickup. So that looks good, 110.5. Now I shall test the low tension coil. So go onto the green wire. Push the button. Let's have a look what this reads. Now that's reading a good low tension coil. About 540 ohms, 947 milliamperes. So we assume that's good. Right, what I'm going to test now is the lighting coils. So I've got to go across one yellow and then across the other yellow. If I can get this into here. Yeah, I think that's got it. Let me test it. Yeah, so it's showing. 0 0.5 ohms, 1.38 milliamperes. That's what you'd normally see for the, a DC system. So that's good. So I'm assuming now we've done the test either with a multimeter or with a component tester. You'd think that state is good, but it isn't. It's giving no spark. Um, the CDI is giving no spark. So the next test, obviously, I've got to test it with an oscilloscope now. So I've got the oscilloscope set up and I'll turn the camera around in a minute. What I'll do first of all, I'm going to test the low tension coil. So I've got my air probe um, on the black wire and I'm going to put the, um, the main probe on times 10 and then onto the green wire. And I'm just going to show you what I do before I turn it round to the um, oscilloscope. Now, a lot of you know this. I've basically got this. It's a drill, and I've 
3D printed this and I've put two magnets on it and I basically rotate it. And what I do to test the low tension coil is, I'm going to show you this way and then I'll turn the, the camera around. So I'll just rotate the magnets by the low tension coil like that or like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it round to the oscilloscope now to show you the waveform you need to look for. Right, so I've got the oscilloscope set at 1 volt per division and it's on AC and what I normally look for, I normally look for plus, plus or minus 2 squares so I'm, I'm going to rotate the drill now, you should be able to see the signal on the oscilloscope, that's if the frame rate doesn't interfere with the um, camera. So let me try and... Yeah, you, you can see it. It's roughly plus or minus two, two squares, which is good. Now the next test I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the probe over now to the low tension, to, sorry, to the pickup coil. I'm going to put the pickup, put the air probe on times one, leave it on one volt of division, and again normally I'll be looking for plus or minus two squares on, on the oscilloscope. That's giving me a signal plus or minus two volts, which is plenty enough to trigger the CDI. You normally need about 0.8 volts to trigger the CDI. So I'm going to run it now, and, and you'll notice something now. What can you notice? You're only seeing the negative pulse, but not the positive pulse. And there's the fault. The fault is, you've not got a positive pulse. Basically, inside the pickup coil, you've got two, you've got two coils. I'll just turn the camera back around right now. So inside the pickup coil, you've got two coils you have. And if you look, I'll just take this oscilloscope off. The first thing I noticed when I was testing this um, stage is the pickup coil had been knocked. I mean, you can tell if you look, it's not in line, see? And what I noticed that there's quite a, like a, a mark on the bottom of, the, of this pickup coil here, indicating it's been knocked by the magnets in the um, flywheel. So, like I said, you've got two coils inside there. One is wrapped around this pole piece here and one is wrapped round that pole piece. Then there's two diodes and two resistors to make up the low resistor. So that's the fault with this BGM stator. It's giving now a positive pulse out. And the positive pulse, like you say, it should come the same size as a negative pulse. So I've, I've just showed you this, to, you know, don't always believe when you use a multimeter to check a pickup coil and you're looking for either 94 ohms or 112 ohms. The only way you can truly test a pickup coil is with an oscilloscope. So what I'll do is I'm going to change that pickup coil now and I might do another video just to show you it, what the signal should be like. So thanks for watching and just bear that in mind and I'll see you soon.